PDP crisis. Are you not wiki is immature? But this judge, he must go. Welcome to the news. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there supporting this channel, thank you for your continued support and please share and like my channel. A former deputy national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Chief Olabodi George, I said that from the utterances of the party's national chairman, Senator Iocha Ayo, he is immature. George, who is also a former military governor of Undo State, stated this while inaugurating Omerilu internal road in the Kure local government area of River State, which were constructed by the River State government. He was saying this in Porta Court, okay, no wonder. He was with Wicked, that was why he was berating the chairman of the People's Democratic Party. Well, he was reacting to IU's recent interview on the BBC House of Service, where he said those calling for his resignation as the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party were making mere noise and that they were children when the party was founded. George said, you see and you hear when a serving national chairman of our party is calling elected governors children. Does he think that children don't grow or there is a life perpetual for him? We need to watch our language. It looks to me that it is him that is premature. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party chieftain stated that all progressive Congress-led administration has negatively affected the fortunes of the country, adding that only restructuring will guarantee peace and security in the country. George said, the government of all progressive Congress, APC, has negatively affected the fortunes of our nation. The only sector that is functioning is the all progressive Congress government, is the monumental corruption in the land. Since 2015, insecurity has been rising geometrically, thereby threatening the unity of the country. Today, Nigeria, the most populous black nation in the world, is at a crossroad. There is no way we can guarantee peace and security of this country it's not the, if this country is not restructured. It is my belief that if this country is restructured, the way that every locality controls the instrumentality of security, wanton killings of Nigerians will stop considerably. If our country is also restructured economically, no commission of finance will go be going to Abuja every month to collect remittance in the name of monthly allocation. There is no nation in the world that becomes prosperous without becoming industrialized. Industrialization is only achievable in the nation if there is constant power supply in the last three months. The national grid has collapsed more than three times, but the national grid of the All Progressive Congress government has not collapsed. If this country is restructured equitably, the current revenue formula which the federal government collects 52% of centrally collected revenue through the federation account, leaving states with 26.6% and local government areas with 24.3% is not going to work. Even the so-called fight against corruption is being guided by blind loyalty to their cronies and not in the interest of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerians are tired and are waiting for our party in 2023. To have an egalitarian society, the structuring is the answer. You want, we want Nigerians to survive as a nation. And this is why we are agitating that Nigeria must be restructured. For 16 years, PDP will not restructure this country. Another party is there, and I just want how many years they are shouting restructuring. Instead of you to put your house in order, and leave the other party, face your own front, work with your party, make sure they resolve the crisis on ground, he is coming to as an elder to say one person is at fault. This statement will continue to put fire in the fuel in the fire that is already burning. I expected them as a former um, and a strong man in the party, a former national chairman for the Southwest of the People's Democratic Party, coming out to put to say this statement. It's for him to call whoever, whatever is the issue. He was with Wiki, can you not ask what are the issue? 
and call other people is a strong person in the party, well known. You should call all of them together as an elder and resolve this crisis. This one that Wiki is calling different people to come and commission things, and after they are commissioned, they will make trouble, speak another thing. It will not help the party come 2023. If really they are interested in getting to the presidency come 2023, well, maybe this one is what you call mistake that they continue to make errors until the person that God has ordained will get to power because what is happening in PDP is internal. Every crisis that you are seeing today is just because somebody lost in the presidential bid and it was not able to get there. Maybe that is why this crisis is happening. Well, what is your own take on this crisis within the PDP? The elders of the party, are they taking the right step to resolve this crisis or they are putting fire into the already boiling, I mean burning fire. They are putting fuel into the already burning fire. Should the elders of the party not be able to resolve this crisis, what are they waiting for? Do they really want to move in come 2023 or do they just make a mouth and just want to fill the space? What is your opinion? Kindly make it known as a subscribe to my channel. Good day to see you again. Okay.